What about Boston acoustic loudspeakers? All right. Um, Ryan in Baltimore, Maryland writes to me and he says, I don't think you've, I've ever heard you talk about um, Boston ah, acoustic loudspeakers, but unless I missed it somehow, uh, I've never, I, I, I never heard any of their speakers until I came across to a pair of Boston uh, HD9s. I think that's their little bookshelf. And let me tell you, listening to these speakers after my last speaker, which was a Bose 201, the difference was night and day. I'll bet. <laughs> I don't think much of Bose, <laughs> although their modern ones are pretty good. Anyway, I just wanted to know what you thought of Boston. Um, thanks for um, all you do. Well, you are, you are certainly welcome. Um, I, I don't talk much about Boston. You're right, because they, they've never been super high end, but boy, do they make some great loudspeakers back, back in the day. And um, if I remember right, Boston Acoustics came out of Advent, and I don't, remember, I don't know how many of you remember Advent loudspeakers. So a guy named Henry Kloss. Henry Kloss was a, a legend. He, you know, he, he had uh, KLH um, and then Advent. The, the K in, in KLH is, is for Kloss. Um, and uh, Advent loudspeakers, great speakers. And two guys, Andy Petit and Frank Reed, broke away after a, a while from Advent loudspeakers and they formed Boston Acoustics. And their mission was to bring great sound at great prices. And they did that. In fact, if I remember correctly, I think Polk Audio, I think they, they were so enamored with Boston Acoustics that they copied a lot of what Boston did to found Polk Audio. So Boston, you know, back in the day, they made some great sounding equipment. Wasn't all that high end, and neither was Polk. I mean, they, that just wasn't what their shtick was. But for what they did, they, they made some terrific uh, products that were based in engineering uh, stuff. They, uh, they were affordable. They cared about music. They did all the right things. Now today, you know, I don't even know if they're still around. They, they got bought out by, um, what's the name of the company? Um, Sound, is it Sound Unlimited? It, it's, they're a huge company. I think they just bought Onkyo and Brands. They bought Definitive, they bought Polk Audio. They've, they're just scarfing up these audio companies. And in some cases, they just set them out to pasture and they die. And I think they've done that with Boston but they just turn them into commodity brands and they no longer have any heart or soul and it's, it's kind of sad. But in their day, Boston Acoustics, they were spot on. So good deal that you went and changed all that. All right, hope that helped. Thanks for the reminder. I hadn't thought about Boston Acoustics for years. All right, take it easy. Bye.